What's up gamers? In today's video, we're gonna go over the best blitz in Madden 22 post patch. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this type of breakdown, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Shout out to the MVPs and the MVP elites. Also, the eBooks is live, just updated them today. So if you get the defensive eBook, you get the free offensive ebook and they are both updated for free for four months let's get into today's banger what's up everybody if you want to take your madden 22 game into the next level the link in the description has my ebooks and every ebook that you get gets a free upgrade for four months i repeat free upgrades for four months let's get it all right so the play we're going to be going over is the nickel triple i am in the chicago bears defensive playbook and if you like what you see and you want the full scheme don't hesitate get the ebook right now i guarantee you will be top 50 or top 100 all year long so the first play we're going to go over is the cover one blitz now in my defensive ebook, I break down a lot of different zones as far as Tampa 2, as far as cover 3 cloud, cover 6, and I give you certain unique things that this defense brings to the table. But for this video, we're going to go over the cover 1 linebacker blitz. This is going to help you when you are going to get somebody who likes long developing plays. So to start the game, you can come out in the cover three sky, deep half, both cornerbacks, and that will set the tone for the rest of the game. Your opponent is going to see cover three on the screen. He's going to start coming out in cover three type of offense. He's going to try to one play touchdown you, and that's when you're going to mix in the cover one linebacker blitz. For this play, we're just going to come out in bunch. This is what a lot of people is running, trips tight in, bunch, all that type of stuff. My ebook will go more into depth on defending all of them, how to use match defense to perfection. So the first thing you want to do, so looking at my defense, I want to blitz all linebackers two times, so I'm going to push right deep pad and then blitz all right stick down and then i'm going to do it twice your defense is all set up you're going to make adjustments according to what your opponent is showing you okay so like i said start the game off with cover three stock but deep have both corners that's going to let him see cover three on the screen he's going to start making adjustments to beat cover three okay now if you run this man coverage setup that i'm showing you right now Make sure that you mix back in cover three setups the same type of way and your cover two setups the same type of way. So we're going to blitz all linebackers and then from here, I'm going to crash my line away from the running back. So I'm going to push left D pad and then slant right, which is right stick out. That's how it's going to look. OK, make sure you blitz linebackers two times so from right here i can even blitz my user i can man him up everything on the right side of the field is guarded and you don't want to get bombed but the blitz is so fast with this setup so we're going to come right here and we're going to hike the ball i'm going to take the running back and you're going to see super duper glitchy fast pressure straight through the gap now let's look at that real quick now, what adjustments can you make? You need to be using your peripherals. So here I am right here. The running back goes out. I'm going to take that running back route. I'm going to jump underneath that running back if he throws it fast. Now, on the left side, we have that guy. He's over the top of him. He don't have enough time to throw the hitch. We have a screamer coming through right there. He has to start doing short routes. And that's what this defense is all about. We want your opponent to not even think about long developing routes because the zones are terrible. And this is the reason why I am 7-1 and one currently in weekend league. Smooth pressure. Now, you're also going to get disengages and other type of stuff, but that's more in the ebook. So, like I said, we're going to push right D pad and then blitz all twice. So we're going to do that two times. Now, you can press, pinch the entire team. It's all up to you. And we're going to crash away from the running back by this setup. It's going to be different crashes that you do. Now, I'm right here in the gap. You don't have to be all the way down like most Madden players do. You can be stepped out a little bit. You can be back here. It don't matter. Remember your assignment. We're going to come out here and we're going to hike the ball. I'm going to take him and straight through the gap is the fastest post patch blitz 
in Madden 22. That's how fast it's gonna be. We're gonna see, we're gonna time it up. We're gonna blitz twice and we're gonna slide away from the running back. We're gonna come right here. I don't even have to be on the line of scrimmage. I'm gonna jump that running back, we're gonna time it. So one, two, three, three seconds your opponent has. Your opponent has three seconds to decide what he's gonna do. So let's contain real quick. We're gonna blitz twice. We're gonna blitz our user, come down. If the quarterback tries to run out, pain real fast. Boom, so let's see. So there he goes, looping the crown. He can't get outside the pocket. You see the edges were set on that play. Okay, so we put contains on that time and you can see he looped around real fast right there to make sure that the edges were sealed. So that time we got contains, if he tried to run out, he was gonna get blitzed and picked up before he can get out the pocket, right there. We got the edge set, we got the rest of the field locked down this is the best post patch blitz in Madden 22. I'm telling you, get the ebook, take your game to the next level. Now, let's play around with a couple things that we can do on this play. It's a couple things. I'm gonna give you all some bonus. So we're gonna blitz all linebackers two times, okay? So you can either quick adjustments. They run quick adjustment back. So you can put that guy in a soft over there, okay? And then you can do this. You can play around. So he's gonna pick up the running back. I'm gonna take off to that wide receiver once he hikes the ball. So we're gonna crash away from the running back. I'm gonna stay right here and I'm gonna take off to him. I wanna come down, the running back is gonna be taken and we get a sack fumble. The quarterback is looking down the field. Okay, he took that wide receiver on that drag. He didn't go vertical because you are setting it up. You are showing him man coverage. So vertical routes, he's gonna be taken off of the field because it takes a long time for them to develop. So you put a cloud right there. That's gonna make him hover to where the running back might be going if he don't block him. So I put that cloud over there. I ran straight over to that route right there. I'm underneath both of these routes that he have in the same area. That cloud down there, the running back will get open if he gets enough time, but we get the block shed. So you can see my guy got stuck in the mud right there. He just bounced off the guy. So you can put safeties right there. I am using the basic roster for this video. You can put safeties right there. If you play mutt, you might have Brian Dawkins, Ed Reed. They gonna be styling on your opponent, just going through the hole, screaming at them. And I'm gonna put some footage on there for when my opponent is blocking more people. How you gonna get good block sheds? The entire field is gonna be locked down using my ebook of strategy. Enjoy. Let's go. so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back. On a first and ten. From the gun, Jones. This one caught by Kittle. Touchdown! George Kittle. That's the first half. 